I am so tired of waking up every morning or coming home and being unsatisfied with myself. It's time to make a change. So I just wanted to come on, on here really quickly and talk to you guys. I'm really tired because I just got off of work. I work overnight and crusty. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to clean up my room because I cannot think straight in a cluttered room, a messy room. I literally feel like the clutter in the room, it just triples my anxiety in my head about everything that I have that I'm thinking about whether that be um whether that be content that I'm trying to think about to produce whether that be Instagram brand deals whether that be what direction I want to go with my life like it's that deep if my room is a hot mess it triples the anxiety to the point where sometimes I can't even breathe so I need to declutter this room and we gotta get it together we gon' get it to something about candles and incense that just give me a sense of calm and a sense of peace so today i'm gonna do just that to help myself feel a little bit better and just bring me back i'm lighting this tangerine incense and allowing it to perfume the air around me and just calm me down and make me feel at ease in this quarantine time when you're feeling down do whatever it takes as long as you're not hurting anyone to bring yourself peace Throughout this quarantine, I've had a lot of time to have self-reflection and just reflect on some of my behaviors and things that I've done in the past. And I realized that oftentimes when I'm upset, I often punish my own body, punish my body by eating and indulging in the most unhealthy of foods, the most unhealthy of behaviors, and I'm tired. I'm tired of that. My body is tired of it. My body is, has been begging me to stop, but I haven't stopped. But I'm gonna try starting today, starting over. Thank you. 
So I have these cactus plants here over my bed, not only because they go great with the aesthetic, <laughs> but also because cactus represents resilience to me. These plants can withstand the most extreme temperatures from the driest to the coldest to the most rainy and they always come out on top and I think that's beautiful. My skin has, has to be one of my number one insecurities. The acne, the discoloration, the pitted scarring. It's literally crippled me for so long. I'm trying to learn to accept the skin that God had created me to have and to understand that no one is perfect. <laughs> no one's skin is perfect. Um, everyone has things that they don't like about themselves. And I'm trying to ask God to help me to accept the things that I cannot change and to change the things that I can. That's all I can do, right? For months, every time I passed the mirror, I told myself, don't look. You'll be disgusted. That stops today. I'm gonna look at myself and I'm gonna smile. Smile because although there are things I don't like, there's a lot more that could be wrong. Every day I like to take my daily prayer journal and read today's scripture. Today's scripture was about humility and remaining humble even when others exalt you or others praise you. That's something I always said as an influencer coming up that I would never want to slip away from. I would never want to be that influencer who thinks she's too high for anyone. I'm also looking over some of the journals, goals that I had written down some weeks ago and reflecting on how I've worked towards some and how I haven't. I'm just also adding a couple extra things to the list like finding self-value, self-esteem. I know these things should have been on the list before, but for some reason, I neglected to add it. Probably because I didn't want to acknowledge the demons that were inside of me. Anyways, since I got home, I haven't slept, so the next thing on my routine is to take a good old morning nap. If I can, anyway. Sometimes I have to toss and turn in the bed for a while until I can eventually fall asleep.